oftentimes where we go wrong is we look at things from a broken perspective and we label that to be truth. But if you're still broken, if you're still not healed in the area, you can't necessarily say that's truth because sometimes when you are hurt, when you're broken, your views can often be corrupt in areas. For example, you know, you have a lot of men and I'm particularly speaking of the Hebrew Israelite men, the ones in the camps anyway, because I personally have experienced this. A lot of those men have a lot of hatred towards black women. I've had an individual, you know, cuss me out. You know, he practically threatened me, made it know how I need to be put to death and all these things. And the young man does not even know me. And mainly because I didn't agree with a lot of the doctrine that he agreed with. And, you know, like, it didn't scare me, but it was more so felt kind of disappointed as far as what occurred in that man's life for him to have that type of bitterness towards women in general? You know, sometimes we don't know what people go through behind closed doors. Well, if you would, I don't know what a woman could have did to you that could have been that terrible to where you have hatred towards black women in general. But goodness, I will apologize to you on behalf of them. You know, like sometimes we don't know what goes on within the lives of people. But guys, when we begin to take our problems out on other individuals as a result of things that we have not properly dealt with within the past and it begins to manifest within our lives currently, it's a problem, guys. It does show a lack of surrendering. You know, this is why we do have Christ. You know, it begins to manifest in our actions as to the things that we surrender to the Lord and things that we have not surrendered to the Lord. And when we try to do things our way and not rely on Christ, we take things out. We do it our way. We can never get anywhere, guys, being in Christ. It's good to not be ignorant to the truth of things, guys. You know, when you read Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. You know, the Lord, he does not want us to be ignorant to the truth. Because, you know, when you read the book of Hosea. Because, as you know, when it comes to following Christ, it is about character ship, guys. You want to have you want to have character in your walk. Regardless who you're dealing with, you can deal, be dealing with another black person, you can be dealing with another white person, guys. It is a matter of need to know how to respect people. And just because people don't treat you in a way that you may treat them does not mean two wrongs make a right. You should still have enough maturity within you to know how to treat people in general, guys. So, you know. From black Lives Matter to Hebrew Israelites and stuff, guys. From black Lives Matter to Hebrew is a light to stuff, guys. Sometimes, you know, a lot of you, you may classify white people in general to just all be devils. Well, guys, you have to keep in mind that's not righteous judgment in general to just all be devils. Well, guys, you have to keep in mind that's not righteous judgment. That's not righteous judgment. That's ba that's basically like just saying that every black person is stupid because you have a few bad apples that spoiled a bunch. When well, we all have not grown up in the same way, we all were not taught the same way. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Raka Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Labaguayam, that's uh, peace to the elect, Shalom. Um, I want to touch on a video with this uh, woman here. She says, she titles her video Racism, Black Lives Matter, and Hebrew Israelites. So she kind of just put it all together in the 16 minute video. Well, she did. She didn't have a very long video. Okay. But uh, there was a quite a few things that she touched on. Um, she uh, said she came up to a camp and the camp kind of cursed her out and said she was going to die. And that, you know, they said, we hate ch their women and we hate the children. And this is not the behavior of a black Hebrew Israelite. Well, let me say, a man of Christ, okay? Uh, it's sickening that they keep using this word Christ. This this uh, word Christ was a racist word from the beginning. Used, uh, basically it was just a Greek translation. And it's uh, they put that name and that label on a true Messiah, okay? Which, it's just too over her head anyway. But the whole, the whole point is she claims that someone uh, cursed her out and you know, but, you know, these women, they never hold themselves accountable. You notice that they they hold themselves not guilty. All these women have came up, there's different women have came up to our camp talking the same BS, same madness, 
And then when, you know, when the heat is on them, they revert back to so-called Christians and female submissive women and say that we were the ones abusing them. But this is how Esau got them set up to get in, cause confusion, and then get out and try to clean it up like they was the, the righteous ones all along. And we know these so-called black women, these Israelite women in general, or whatever these women are, are not righteous. Anyway, she goes on to say that, um, that you know, we uh, shouldn't behave like that. All those things she was saying, some of it was true, but that was to the brotherhood, having a good character and learning how, to, in a manner, how to behave in certain situations. You know, some of that is true even in, in the teachings. But at the same time, when are these so-called black women going to hold themselves accountable uh, for their wickedness, okay? She will not make videos on it that the highest abortion rate uh, among uh, women are the so is the so-called black woman. Okay, they will not do videos on that. They will not do videos on these women that uh, that these men marry and they take them to child support and try to clean them out. Care more about the children. I mean, more about themselves than their own so-called sons and daughters. They will not talk about that. Okay, uh, and this is the craziness uh, that these people go into okay uh, she also claims that um, this is not a righteous judgment to tell the so called white man okay Esau about his fate and what has to happen to him and tell him about himself it's not also a good behavior to tell our people that they're going to die if they don't get themselves together now when you read Isaiah 58 and 1 it says cry aloud spare not lift up a voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions also, this woman is spitting scriptures like she learned from the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, uh, Matthew 10 and 16, Hosea 4 and 6. These, these churches was never reading these scriptures, man. So anyway, let's get a scripture real quick. Uh, this is uh, Job, and we got to go through the scripture. I go through the scripture quite a bit. This is Job 34 and 28. It says, so that they caused the cry of the poor to come unto him. And he heareth the cry of the afflicted. Okay. So in order to be in this society, she said you suppose that this their Christian doctrine, the true prophets would be afflicted, would be going through some form of hell. Okay. The true prophets. They're going to be going through some form of hell. Uh, a condition. It says, when he give a quiet of who can make trouble, who then can make trouble. And when he hide of his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? Okay, so when the Lord punishes you as a nation, you all go into captivity. Where'd you get that, you damn Christians? Where'd you, don't you know through all through time since man been on this earth, when the time, especially the Israelites being put in our captivities, we went into slavery as a nation. It wasn't only just one man. Surely you could get punished as a man or woman. But you get punished as a nation. You can get punished as a nation. And that's what the Lord has done to us, punish us as a nation. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. You know, because she was going into us about the, uh, if, 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 a black, if one apple spoils the bunch. This is not about black and white. This is about nationality. It's about a nation of people. Sure, in your mind, you might think this is a good white man. OK, at the end of the day, if he is a so-called good uh, Edomite, which ain't no such thing. If it is a good Edomite, guess what? He still got to get paid back for his forefathers. OK, or himself and uh, as a nation of people. This is the way the Lord does it. He's always done it. And that's how he's going to do it. And, it, and, and as when we get to the kingdom, it's going to be as to a nation of people, you know, and the Most High controls all. Didn't he not put all of our ass into slavery? Why did the Lord allow the so-called blacks and the, and the natives to go into slavery like that, man? Okay? And, then, you know, this woman doesn't know what she's talking about, you know? So let's get a comment. Uh, this was a, um, I did a script, uh, video yesterday on um, Kevin Garnett and his wife taking him to the cleaners. Okay? Uh, and I'm going to read this comment 
This is from an Israelite woman. Okay, her name is TT. She says, it's not all women. What about the women who are living all with all uh, broke mother efforts and love them as if they were rich? So stop with the all women. Now, in the beginning, I didn't say it, but I was going to say, you know, this is not a video. Uh, if it's all women, if it's not, doesn't concern you, don't worry about it, you know. So, you know, when you look at that, when you make a statement like that, that telling you that this is a, a queen of heaven, uh, there's an imbalance in this society. Because when we do videos on Jake, on a bunch of uh, people going on, especially men, we don't sit up there and say, uh, so, you know, I'm doing this video. This is not uh, uh, for all men. If, if, if it offends you, don't worry. Man, we shouldn't have to do that. If you're a woman and you understand the truth to some degree, you should already understand that you do not fit the, uh, the, the so-called quota. You don't fit the stereotype, so to speak. But this only proves a lot of you women are phony. A lot of you women are phony. We should not have to open up doing a video saying, hey, if, it, if it to whom it may apply, if it's not for this woman, yeah, we, don't, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't attack all women. Get the hell out of here, man. There's no respect to persons. Okay? If it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply. We're not going to sit up here and say, I'm going to do this video. Look, if, it's, if it, this is not all men, but some men, you women always playing the damn victim as if it wasn't you. Okay, then she goes on to talk about the children and this and that. Look, man, look, look, who raised these young men like that, man? Who raised a lot of these young men? You, you, you the one to not understanding who your enemy is. You're automatically blaming the so-called black man. Okay, he's the head of you. And if he's destroyed, you're destroyed. Okay, and how he destroyed us is putting y'all over us. And in control of us, especially as young boys. So who's raising these young boys? You women, you sit up there and you want to blame. You want to put the blame game, man. It's always the man. It's always these, these sorry niggas. Sorry niggas. Well, you raised them to be sorry. You raised them to be a simp. And then when you get them to be, uh, you raise them to be somebody like you. And then he goes to another woman like you. Then you, you, she has it. Uh, she's upset because she doesn't have a real man. Get the hell out of here, man! It's time for you women to hold yourself accountable. Stop holding yourselves not guilty. Okay, you are the biggest part of the guilty party. You are the ones that are now in control of the so-called children. Okay, the sons and daughters. You now have the rights to them. So it's supposed to be to you to raise them properly according to the scriptures especially if you're an Israelite woman you notice you should know some of the scriptures but no all you can do is sit up there and complain okay and say it ain't all woman I don't give a damn it's 95 percent of you damn women okay this is crazy man let's go on let's go on and the scriptures, let me see. Yeah, and the scriptures also say, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth, okay? Uh, this, is Job, this is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, let's see, let me see. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Uh, and this woman is up here saying, well, guys, this is not how you're supposed to behave. Well, guys, you should have character. Well, guys, look, well, guys. Look, according to the according to the scriptures, this book was only given to the Israelites. Those those things she is she saying is amongst the brethren, okay? Really amongst the elect for the elect of the Israelites or those striving to be of the elect, okay? How to conduct yourselves in speech amongst one another, okay? One another and even according to the world. But when you out there teaching. We're hard guys, man. The prophets are supposed to be tough. Okay? You know, Yahushua said, uh, bring my enemies hither and slay them before me in the Luke, the 19th chapter. Uh, he was supposed to be soft. He turned the tables. 
to change his tables, right? So this proves that you had austere men. But this is the, the uh, representation of how the Roman Catholics set up a curriculum uh, to, okay, to destroy the households and make these men effeminate through these churches and all through the women. Okay? All the way through the women. That's why these young men are effeminate. You want to blame... See, they have to blame somebody. They have to blame the young men. Nobody comes up like that unless they haven't been guided right. They just, they, they just didn't wake up, take off their diapers, throw on some underwear, and, and wear their pants down to their knees with nobody correcting them on their own, with nobody giving them guidance. Or somebody giving them guidance. Nobody gave these young men guidance. You women... You don't care about your children, man. You don't care about your sons. You'll let your daughters, you'll, you'll raise your daughters to wear the nicest, cleanest clothes, and you'll see those little boys looking like little rug rats, man. I see it. When I go around on jobs and work, I see it. I see the little boys, how they let them run around uh, 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 willful, doing whatever it is they want to do. Meanwhile, the little girl sitting up there in the chair Platting their hairs, uh, platting their hair and singing. Okay? Learning how to be horse. Come on, don't talk. These women are amazing. Okay? They want to blame everybody. Okay? But then when I do a video on our people, there's no women stepping up to say, hey, that's not all men. She claims she would do it, this woman TT, but I've never seen it. Every time we get on the, the so-called uh, black woman, it's always the black woman running to the rescue of the other black woman. But when we get on these so-called jakes, these black so-called black men, there's no woman jumping up, getting on a comment board, and say, "Hey, that ain't all men. Leave these men alone. All of them, all of us are not like that." That tells you that these women hate you, man. The so-called black woman don't love you, okay? And it's to whom it may apply, whether you like it or not, okay? It's just simple as that. Let me read that again. Okay? It says, uh, let me read that again. It says, Therefore, all that they devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. And you notice this so-called black woman, they'll bust their ass to, to incorporate everybody in the show, so to speak. They would do that. But they'll do it so much more than Esau would ever do it. You'll never see Esau on a high level. He'll, some of them would do it, but on a high level saying, look, God loves all. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. You know? It doesn't matter. Where they're really trying to incorporate all other nations. You don't see the Jewish people making a, a, a stand for that. You don't see them out there on the corners with a big sign saying, all are welcome. All are welcome. You'll never see them Jewish people do that. But you can count on the black woman to do it. And the so-called black man. But mainly the black woman. She's never held a... She, she is always right. Because she's the queen. Okay? But clearly we can see that this woman uh, uplifts Christ. Okay? Christ is to you Christians' destruction, man. You will not make a stand for what's right. You would only make a stand for everybody, okay? And the Lord didn't choose everybody. When you read the Bible, it was never meant for everybody, okay? It's only for the elect of Israel at this point. You cannot be saved, okay, unless you're the elect. And you can't go around saying you're saved because you're still here in captivity. That's all I have on that, Shalom.